Speaking well, of, and welcome. Hey, Bill, this is Bill Bradfield, the CEO and founder of Perceptus, and this is a really busy time for you. Yeah, this is a th this is the big time of year for us. It is now uh, the 22nd of August, and from almost all of our clients, the students are coming back uh, from the summer break. Uh, faculty's been back for about a week. Our volumes have almost tripled. Uh, our daily volumes of incidents uh, have almost tripled in the last uh, three or four days. Uh, and we expect it'll probably triple again sometime next week. Well, that's your big business. It's, oh, yeah. it's taking care. It's helped us and it's support us. for it's taking taking calls from people, taking emails, chat sessions, and the like. Uh, we have a, a center here uh, in Cleveland, another one out in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, where we have agents on the on the phones taking calls. Uh, we also have a number of people who are able to work out of their homes, stay-at-home moms, uh, uh, and the like, who uh, use we use the technology accordingly. Uh, we'll do 30% of our annual volume over the next three weeks. Wow! So it's, it gets pretty crowded in here. Um, we, uh, it was, uh, we just ended up buying, uh, going to Costco and making the Costco run for uh, <laughs> bags of snacks and food because we chain people to the desk and don't let them go. Keep them fortified, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah we've also uh, added uh, in the last 20 days about 30 people. Um, uh, about uh, half of them here and about half of them out in Phoenix to cover the workload. And many of them come on as contractors for a period of time. And, as we evaluate their performance, we decide uh, with them, you know, is this a place they want to work? And as we gain more work, then we bring them on full time. So uh, uh, this time last year, we had uh, about 55 employees. And right now, we're close to 135, 140. So we're in that vicinity. Well, it seems besides the, the growth in this time, you know, it's this crunch time for you. But it seems like every few days, I, I, I see where you pick up another big school or client or something, you're really growing. Yeah, we're, we've been growing quite, you know, quite rapidly, and it's, uh, it's not something we've had to manage uh, with care. Um, but in the last uh, six months, we've doubled the size of the corporation twice in terms of the number of end users. We have about a million, one, a million, two hundred thousand users that, that we support out of this, this center and the one in Phoenix. Now, you would think that college kids, you know, they'd be a little astute, know how to do something. They could do some self-help. They could figure out their own problems. Is, is that well, not and, the case? And some, and some of them do. Um, you know, what we find is that uh, you know, the, the majority of our calls are faculty and staff. Right? So the majority of 60, 65 percent of our calls come from faculty and staff. Um, depending on the kind of student, if students in dormitories often go to the guy next door or the, the girl down the hall to get to, to get help, or they can go to a self, some self-help sites, and we have self-help out there. Um, but when they when they really want to make a call, they want to get you know support right away, and they want instant gratification to get things solved. They, you know, the fastest way to do this: pick up the phone and make the call. Uh, each of our campuses has a, a special hotline where they call in to our to our folks, and uh, we uh, we manage the solution accordingly. And I think you have an interesting statistic about self-help. Yeah, you know, yeah, um, well, yeah, it was kind yeah, of surprising. There, there have been a lot of people who believe that self-help is you know the answer for the future. The reality is, and the Help Desk Institute has kind of. Uh, proven it for us, is only about 3% of, uh, of incidents get solved at the self-help level. 97% uh, push beyond that and are, are handled via a phone call or an email or a chat session, uh, that kind of thing. You know, now that you're in crunch time and, and you got people who just say change the desk and the, the snacks and all that. <laughs> eating Fritos. <laughs> yeah, eating Fritos. This is a pretty cool environment to be chained to, though. Huh? Yeah. Show us a we little, what, show the view that... Uh, we're, uh, we're, we're in the East Bank of the Flats. and. Uh, actually in the old Watermark restaurant building. And one of the things that's very cool is that uh, when things get really, really stressful, you can come out on the deck and uh, reminisce about what the flats used to be. Of course, there are shooters over there and because uh, the entrance to the lake. So the ore boats come up and down. We have a couple of ragged chairs here that uh, sometimes our agents, when they're really stressed, will come out here with their wireless headsets and their wireless laptops and they'll take calls literally sitting on the deck. Them, uh, <laughs> and I see over there you got the Nautica stage. You've yeah. got a, you've got balcony seats. Yeah, in fact we do. We've seen uh, Bob Dylan there. Uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire was there a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> and we haven't yet begun to charge admission, but uh, <laughs> we will come up here with a, uh, a bottle a bottle of pop and a bag of popcorn and sit here in those ratty old chairs and listen to the music and watch the boats go by. It's a, it's a great environment. Well, it's it's a great environment to keep uh, the people working hard and take care of your customers here during, especially during crunch time, as we start the school year again. You bet. Yeah, here they, uh, here they come. Yeah, here they come. Yeah, it's, uh, we talked, uh, sent a note out to the whole company the last uh, about three days ago that uh, said, "Get ready because the onslaught is here." And they, they all know that our job is to is to make that transition really easy for the students, the faculty, and the staff as they gear back up into the uh, into the, uh, the the 
education year. All right, enough of this fluff time then. You got to get back to I work. Got work to do, yeah. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> All right, thank you.